right, welcome back to this channel. We're um, bound and determined to use every square inch of this uh, birch tree I've got. I really love the uh, thick bark on here, and one of my goals was to highlight the transition through the bark. Um, unfortunately, in the end, not a whole lot of it survived. Some of it did, but not as much as I'd wanted, but I love this stuff. It's quite pretty. There's a fair amount of spalting in this piece of wood, too, so even though the bark didn't show up like I hoped, uh, the spalting was pretty cool. Um, in my endless quest to figure out a system where I can do deep pours with resin in one shot, have very few bubbles, um, and preserve the wood and, and so on, and not necessarily use a pressure pot so that I can manipulate the resin at different points. Um, I think I'm getting there. I think we've got a good system down. If you're new to the channel, um, all the projects I do, all the money we raise through YouTube, through the sponsorships, through uh, whatever you see us doing, raising money, it all goes to Operation Underground Railroad. These guys um, fight child sex trafficking around the world. They provide funding to United States police departments, um, canine units that can help s smell out uh, electronics that are being hidden, uh, that were used to create uh, pornographic material that exploited kids, uh, all the way down to doing sting operations in third world countries. So that's where the money goes. Been uh, very happy with the support I received. It's allowed me to keep going on this project that we started over a year ago. Uh, we're raising a couple thousand bucks a month, which is far more than I ever expected. <laughs> so just know that every time you click on my videos and watch them and share them, um, if you do a paid subscription, if you buy a t-shirt, if you go to Art for OUR and make a donation or buy something that myself or other artists have donated, um, we try to send as much of that money as possible to Operation Underground Railroad, and that's, that's what it goes towards. They say to become an expert at something, you got to get about 10,000 hours logged in before you can consider yourself an expert at something. I think I'm about halfway there. <laughs> I got a lot to learn, but tics, uh, tips like using this tuck tape 
I've come from a lot of the people who watch my videos. I've learned a lot more from viewers than I've taught them, I'm sure. I like to wrap the tenon in tuck tape because it doesn't stick to resin that much. Um, this is foam pad I've used in quite a lot of projects. It goes under flooring. You can get at Home Depot. I discovered something. One side of this stuff does not stick to resin. That's the glossy side. Um, okay, so here's my goal. I don't want to have a leak. So if you use super glue and plastic sheeting, whatever, <clears throat> you have to get about 10 pounds of glue in there and, and a little bit of luck to prevent a leak. And if you do get a leak, you might be dumping 100 bucks worth of resin on the ground overnight while it sets. So that happened to me once and I swore never again. <laughs> so this is what I've come up with. A little bit of hot glue on the foam put the piece of wood on that and then so the backside is stuck really well to the to the foam so you don't have extra space back there for a resin to go down in uh, and then put it in a plastic bin pack that with sand so that the foam is forced around the piece of wood it forms a really good mold so again trying to avoid uh, wasting resin and then just kind of build it up and it's worked really well if the sand's a little moist you can kind of mold it and uh just gotta be careful obviously not to get it into your project but it's worked well so i let the resin set this is a uh, total boats donated uh, resin to my to my channel i let it set um it's sitting in my open chest freezer <laughs> to cool things off that really helps limit the over exothermic reaction that creates bubbles and boiling any moisture that might be in the wood. Um, so anyway, I let it set till it's super thick. Unfortunately, I didn't let it set quite long enough. Um, and I also learned another lesson. You gotta use the same resin that you that you mixed for the project. I, I mixed new resin for this because I didn't think I could squirt it out of the syringe. And unfortunately, that means it's a lot thinner, which means it comes to the surface. So I didn't get nearly as much color in this as I wanted. But just enough stayed behind uh, with this white and blue resin to give it kind of a watery galaxy look. So I was happy with that, but things I've, I'm working on, I, I ordered some much bigger needles. Um, I think this was a 12 gauge. I'm going to go down to an 8 gauge needle with a 30 cc syringe. And I think that'll help me be able to inject the thicker resin um, and, and uh, again you can't pour new resin on old resin if, if you're doing this late stage manipulation stuff because um, it'll just rise to the top and you lose all your, your color you're trying to get so I don't know, I'm going to keep plugging away at this late stage resin manipulation uh, I think it's kind of fun to do and it's a bit of a challenge. You got to sit there and babysit it, but if it was easy, it wouldn't be any fun, right? The other thing I learned is you'll notice my needle broke off. They make needles that are 100% metal, even down to the lure lock that goes onto the syringe. I I ordered some of those, so that should make things a bit easier. All right, guys, pardon the eruption. Um, we have picked up an amazing sponsor called Skillshare. Skillshare is a huge online repository of classes and different training programs that help you develop your creative side. Um, this can be anything from painting to woodworking to online uh, content creation. Thomas Frank, uh, he was talking about how your creative side is more or less like a muscle. I totally agree with this. He was saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. The first 1,000 subscribers from my channel that click on the link in the description of the video will get a premier men membership for free uh, that gives you some time to explore the website, take some of these tutorial classes, and, and uh, figure out what value there is with Skillshare. I'm starting to like this system. Sand is basically free. The foam is super cheap, like 10 bucks for a huge roll of it. Um, you don't have to fight at getting it off of there. You save a whole bunch on hot glue, <clears throat> and you don't have to worry about getting a leak. 
if you get a leak it goes into the sand a little bit and it blocks it up really quickly so I have yet to lose a whole lot of resin um, through leakage the one thing I can certainly improve on is using a little more hot glue to just tack it to the back side of the project or wherever I don't want to get a fold and have too much um, resin settle in so I can certainly improve on that but getting better and better um, I think it's a good system I don't know if you watched the video I did called the Liberty Tree. Uh, I had a wooden base and a big massive wire tree sculpture. The uh, final concert for that series where it was being featured was finished this last weekend and uh, they auctioned it off I think for about $1,900 which was amazing. So thanks for your support on that. Uh, we raised a thousand bucks for Operation Underground Railroad and 900 bucks for the Draper Philharmonic Orchestra which that was awesome as well. A lot of times I, I've got a plan for my projects, I've got a, a vision, you know, and rarely does it end up being exactly what I thought. So my initial thought here was to do this thing that looked like water and have a, a water drop approach. And as I kept shaping it, I kept shaping the whole thing more and more like a big drop of water within a drop of water. And when I was finished, I realized I had really made a big beaker. <laughs> so, here you go. Welcome to the science lab. And in the end, I thought it looked more like uh, uh, kind of a galaxy look. from One of those amazing Hubble telescope pictures. So that's what I named it. I feel like I'm playing basketball and hitting a lot of bank shots without calling it when I do my, my artistic creations. <laughs> so, yeah, full disclosure. Truth is, I'm, I have a lot of fun doing it, and I highly recommend finding a, a creative artistic outlet. Something that's not in the pursuit of money for yourself or whatever, just something for service or just for fun. It certainly works out as a very therapeutic thing for me. So as always, thank you so much for your support. Every time you watch a video or subscribe and share, helps me helps me generate money for Operation Underground Railroad through YouTube. Um, this item has already been sold, so uh, it's so awesome. Thank you for the people that uh, are watching my accounts and buying things when they come out. That's fantastic. Um, you can go to Art for OUR and discover four or five different things you could do right now to help support the fight against child sex trafficking. And uh, thank you for all that you guys do. See you on the next project.